Hey there. Welcome to In the Studio with Sammy, where you get an inside look into my current projects. Whether it is art, music, animation, writing, or game development, it is my intention to leave you feeling refreshed and inspired. Today we're taking a look at uh, an upcoming music video for um, called titled Majesty, and uh, this one is a long time coming. Um, the tune itself, I say tune because uh, there's no singing in it, <laughs> right? So I, you can't call it a song, um, according to my buddy Pete. <laughs> he corrected me on that. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, a long time coming. This thing took me, uh, the, the tune itself took a couple years to put together. There's times I'd jump on it and um, just couldn't think of anything new to add to it like i oh my goodness but it's it means so much to me though because um it was one of a couple um instrumental pieces that i wrote to uh that like helped me through some really hard times they just soothed my soul so this this uh video which you're gonna get a uh, full-on preview of the thing the very last scene here See, let me, oh, I gotta, and then that's track one. Oh yeah, this very last scene right here, there is, well, it's just still right now. So this, this one still, I still need to create an animation for it. Um, but uh, it's gorgeous, right? Uh, I got this off a stock photography site. And um, this one right here, uh, let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is my first episode doing this. You got to bear with me. But uh, yeah, so you'll know in a little while. You'll be filled in on the whole story thing when you watch it. But uh, essentially, I'm going to have, there's going to be a fairy sitting in here. She wakes up when a uh, mother unicorn and baby unicorn walk up the hill and then the uh, father unicorn steps into the picture and then I'll have at the after the tune is over I'm gonna have a special scene right at the very end that uh, I'm not gonna reveal what it is <laughs> so it's gonna be a long one this this tune itself it's eight and yeah it's it is eight and a half minutes long it's like two frames <laughs> right or like a couple yeah i think yeah two frames from being uh, eight and a half so yeah it's a long one but uh as you'll see in a minute in a minute let's see here we're going over here it's pretty cool there's a lot to it so we'll start at the beginning of course um the uh way it started i found this picture online so sometimes i just go you know like most people right we just start looking through images because there's billions of them on the internet right Pro probably trillions at this point or i don't know it's just ridiculous right but this one's all over the place and i could not before making this video i was like i gotta find out who took this photograph right i couldn't find who it was it's been shared all over the place I uh, didn't want to accept cookies on some sites, so I'm just like, nope. Anyhow, but it started out with this, and then shortly after, I was like, well, that'd be a cool backdrop for a painting, right? And so I came up with this um, on one of my old laptops, and I was like, you know, that would be a really cool oil painting. So that thing's actually sketched out, ready to go at some point um one of the I don't, I don't even know like 20 25 plus images that i'm like okay i'm gonna do that one of these days i still i have so many unfinished paintings most artists do right <laughs> but uh yeah with all my interest it, it just basically the way i work is you know i'll work on uh on a project for a while and then i'll get either burnt out uninspired or whatever and i'll pop onto something else right like for me, the way the way I look at artwork, 
or the way the way I work is like artwork is uh, for me more um, oh like doing paintings, drawing. It's very meditative, right? It is. It's just like I could put a movie on, music on, or something, and just get lost in it, and um, and that it totally works. You know, it calms me down. I I'm never angry or frustrated, right? So, um, and then there are times when, uh, you know, maybe I do come across something that's way more difficult than, than I planned, you know, especially when I'm working in watercolor, cause you just can't, <laughs> you really can't make too many mistakes in watercolor. Um, and that's, that's my medium of choice, although I'm switching to oil, but, uh, anyways, <laughs> So when that happens, you know, I'll, I'll go and jump on the keyboard, you know, I'll have like a, maybe a day where I don't know why, you know, I'm depressed for no reason. Um, you know, maybe I haven't had enough vitamin C or something, or I need it, <laughs> whatever the case may be, I'll just hop on the keyboard. Next thing you know, I've got a song, <laughs> right? That's just how it works with me. I and mean, there are other times too, when I just, I really want to escape and, uh, I'll work on you know game development like stuff like that 3d animation so that's kind of how it works with me but uh, this project right here um, oh my goodness I I believe if I totaled it up and I, I'm saying like eight hour plus days I probably have easily three or four months into this thing so like it's it's pretty crazy and let's see i'm gonna expand the track list here uh, hold on. there we go and you look there are a lot of layers look at this it's like i'm putting together an album right <laughs> look at this so i'm using um for my video editing software i use cyberlink Cyberlink Power Director. I can't think of anything else. Um, before that, in, when I was transitioning to this thing, um, I was using Windows Live Movie Maker, but that was, oh my goodness, I don't even know when they discontinued that. I don't, you might be able to get a copy online somewhere. And it worked pretty cool. They had some really, really good uh, effects on it. But yeah, this is what I'm using Cyberlink Power Director. And then for. Um, Editing the images, coming up with different images. I use uh, Affinity Photo, and I got Affinity Designer, which I there's there's so I know very little about it still. But those I love them. Affinity Photo is is kind of like Photoshop. Actually, it's a lot like Photoshop, but it's fifty bucks. <laughs> you go spend fifty dollars, and you got an insane video editing or you know image editing software photo editing it's just crazy and then that's it's kind of the same thing with uh, affinity designer like th this is basically taken taken the place of of illustrator so that's what i use 50 dollars a piece i'm good to go <laughs> right but uh yeah so here we go i'm gonna only keep this first part 10 minutes because uh i want to keep these episodes close to 20 if i can so I'm gonna I'm gonna take the uh, volume down until I play the actual play it real quick. But uh, so this part right here, right? That's what it looks like in the video. And this is the image. Actually, it won't show up here. I gotta go into my um. Now look at all these. These are all layers right here, right? And so like this right here, I'm using, this is a screen capture from YouTube, right? And of course I'm not, you know, whoever took the, oh, this was on, I don't even know. Anyways, but uh, yeah, so screen capture. And then what I did, let me go back to here. So there's elements of that all through this, like the waves right here. Like right around here they're masked out and so I do I use 
basically like a, a screen. Let's see here. If I go into edit and uh, mass, so there's mass designer is one of the tools. This is one of the, this is uh, second to the last update um, they've used. But uh, basically what you do is, let's do this. So that's a picture frame mask I came up with, right? And so what will happen is it it masks it out like a green screen, right? And so what I ended up doing, what I ended up doing is I would take a screenshot of where the area I wanted to change, right? And I bring it into my photo editing software, bring it into Affinity Photo, and I would paint out an area for a mask and I just this first scene right here I probably have in what was this, this an actual separate project um, the amount of versions because basically what I do is I go and I would I would run it like make my changes and then I would produce it, which depending on, you know, how intensive of a file it is, like if it's, you know, 4K, of course, it's going to take a very long time. Um, and then I check it out and, you know, make changes, run another one. And I'm guessing I probably had somewhere like, I don't even know. <laughs> I really don't. 30, 40 something like that between 30 and 40 different ones until I finally came up with something that I really liked and what's cool is I went back and did my earlier ones and uh, for this other scene here oh wait no it's not that one uh, da, 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 where is it that must be right here nope Oh shoot! Where the heck is it? <laughs> it's been it's been all here maybe. Yeah, this one right here. Okay, so the ferry, she's flying through here. Uh, as soon as she shows up, bam, and then moves on this next scene. And what this is 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 flipped the facing the other way but it's one of the earlier versions right and so i ended up using that because like every time i create something it's it's an asset right in one way or another so uh, that's something i'm trying to you know get a little better at too is like not destroying old files you know because you never know when you might you might need to call it up right you're you, you just don't have the time or don't want to you know spend a bunch of time doing stuff and you're like oh this will work so that's what it is but it does look quite different from oops oh huh. i had to click off of that section it does look quite different from this though right although this is zoomed out or zoomed in but uh it does look quite different so this tree right here and the um this tree is a png and then i end up placing it in uh iclone which is uh i i own is from real real illusion um and uh paired with character creator 3 so these are these are the old older um animation programs like they've they've got Character Creator 4 now, iClone 8. I'm not about to spend the kind of money they want for it at this point, right? Um, but uh, yeah, so that's where I did the animations where I came up with the fairy, her right there, and then the unicorn, which shows up a little while later. So anyway, without further ado, <laughs> Uh, here we go. I'm going to play it for you.
Thank you.